Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I have a birch box. This is to the delightful Victoria Joyce, which is really fun. And this is a beautiful box. They partnered with um, Rifle Paper Company and they are partnering up with Mad Men. I like Mad Men. The last couple of seasons have just been so-so, but uh, I don't quit TV shows. They have to end before I will stop watching them. So let's go into this box. I didn't pick any samples either because um, they're nothing that really spoke to me in any of the choices. So, oh my goodness. This is my box. Um, instantly. <laughs> Shampoo and conditioner. This is the Beaver Nutritive Repairing Conditioner. Um, awesome. I'm over this. I have gotten literally in my box a shampoo and or also a conditioner since February. Uh, that's this is now what my fourth or fifth month getting this type of sample. I'm done with it. Uh, I feel like ever since Birchbox placed the option to stop getting as many fragrant samples, this has become the new type of filler. And I'm just really over it because I don't ever find a shampoo and conditioner that I think is worthwhile or that I think is worth the price tag. So you guys know my thoughts. We'll move on. On the flip side, though, there is this uh, Jouer product. Let's see what it is. Ooh, it is this really pretty um, sample. It doesn't, the sticker says it's just a tint and it's in the color petal. Um, it says it's for lips and cheeks. Okay, so it's essentially like a cream product and I can definitely see it being um, a lip or a cheek type of product. This is really, really pretty. I like this a lot. So this is a really great, almost makes up for the shampoo conditioner. And already we're on to the pillow pack. So let's see what's inside here. Okay, so um, this is a Harvey Prince scent. It's in the scent uh, Yogini. I think I had this before in my... Um, my other subscription or my other account before I transferred over to this account. Um, it has, let's see, pink grapefruit, lily, jasmine, rose, yang yang, um, and golden amber. I remember liking this a little bit but not wanting to buy it. Yeah, this is nice. It's a nice soft florally scent, so this is enjoyable, but uh, again, I'm uh, I'm just kind of over fragrances. And the last thing I have is this Laka & Co. Lip Lube. This is in the color Honey Pot. This is actually a really nice um, product size. Let me go ahead and swatch it. I like that color. It's a really nice, um, sheer, almost like, it feels a little bit like a balm. It feels very moisturizing, so this is a really nice product. So two pretty big hits, you know, I've got this lip product and this Jouer product, but I mean, really, these are just such lackluster samples. I, I'll just be really honest. I'm very critical of these subscription services because they have such great potential and they just aren't meeting that. And I, So to sum up my box, I really do enjoy these two products and that they're gonna be really fun for me to play around with and get some good use out of. I think the sizes are perfect for me because I'm not a huge lip person and I have tons of cheap products and you use so little product that this, even though it looks small, will last you a very long time. However, unfortunately, um, this is, again, my fourth or fifth month getting some sort of shampoo or conditioner, and I just really am I'm over it. I would really like some more variety of products, uh, even if it's a hair oil or a hair serum. I don't care if it's still a hair thing, but I just would love to not receive the same types of samples over and over and over again, especially when they're all claiming to do the same thing. So all you're doing is changing the name of the brand. Uh, and then this fragrance is fine, but again, I, I have so many fragrances that it, I'm not gonna purchase it. So I'm kind of like, I could take this or leave it. So, I mean, not the best month. Uh, I think we're getting to that point of all subscription services where they kind of fall off the wagon a little bit and their impressive quality and the greatness of them. Um, I also think I'm getting into a point personally where I don't necessarily need to have uh, Birchbox as a service. I am on a yearly subscription, so I, again, will make the decision to 
sever ties or keep the service but I don't know let me know what you guys got um it's pretty early in the month it's only April 11th so I'm sure that there are tons of you that haven't gotten your rocks yet I would love to hear from you if you did a video link me to your video down below in the comments or just tell me in the comments below because I really have missed you guys and I'm very happy to be back and filming these videos and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye